The names Matthew Bowling and Christopher Taylor are two that resonates around the athletics community. Both these young men have showed the world that they're loaded with talent and have the ability to dominate their peers. Having recently left the high school level, they now embark on the road to book their place amongst the best in the world at the highest level. It has become far from rare to see top-class junior athletes failing to make it to the next level, but at the same time there is a fair share of athletes who transition properly before, more recently Michael Norman and Noah Lyles. Besides if this is possible, it is highly likely that either of these young men could transition to become world-class sprinters. However that's not the big question, the question is, which of these men is the next king of sprinting? Bowling made his mark in 2019, where he finally switched from being a quarter miler into being a short distance sprinter, focusing on the 1 and 200 meters. His 9.97 seconds with a 4.2 meters per second wind assistance was really the turning point of his fame, even though he was impressive before then. Recording 10.11 seconds a week before, which was a new personal best, and a time ranking him 33rd on the all-time list of juniors. The young man would go on to dominate the rest of the season in the 100, 200, 4x100 and 4x400 meters. His biggest accomplishments comes from the under-20 Pan American Championships, where he set two new world junior records in the 4x100 meters and the 4x400 meters. He would also manage to win Jamaican junior sensation Oblique Seville in the 100 meters and then easily run away with the 200 meters. Bowling was definitely the man of the championships, even though he failed to get any individual records. But given the fact the 100 meters record was 10.03 and the 200 meters record 20.13, set by Usain Bolt that's nothing to take away from his brilliant. Taylor on the other hand, made his mark on the world way back in 2015 when he became the fastest 15-year-old stripping world and Olympic champion Karani James of that honor. His performances over the years had him portrayed as the one who would fill those huge shoes of Bolt in Jamaican sprinting. This belief was certainly backed up by his performances, most notably in his race at just 18 years old against former world and Olympic champion, where he won in 20.49 seconds, a new personal best. That same season, Taylor would defeat back-to-back -back world championship finalist to win a national senior title and a national junior record. The season really summed up how special, as he became the first junior for almost two whole decades to hold world junior leading times in the 400 and the 200 meters. As it relates to personal best these young men are equal over the 100 meters, recording personal bests of 10.11 seconds. It has to be noted that Taylor managed to run the time in his third ever 100 meters, as he 200 and 400 meters athlete, as opposed to Bowling, who switched to the 100 and 200 in the season. However Bowling might have been able to go a lot faster as he has an issue with his start. This issue proved to be a menace in 2020, where he lost five of his 660 meter races. So there is a chance that if he does improve his start, Bowling could become a sub-10 sprinter quite soon. While it is unlikely Taylor will be dropping to the 100, we could still see some great head-to-head -head between these two, over the 200 meters. Bowling has the upper hand in that area in terms of personal best, and it might even extend if he somehow gets better at his starts. At the 2020 SEC Indoor Championships Bowling used the fast start of his opponent Akani Hislop, who was on the outer lane, to come away with a new indoor personal best, and the second fastest time overall to gain silver as a freshman. Things might not be as simple as that, as we have to take into consideration that we never actually got to see the full extent of Taylor's capabilities in high school, due to that injury in 2019, added to the fact he is now coached by Reader, a man who knows how to build stars in sprinting. Reader coached Daphne Shippers to a gold medal in the 200 meters, recording the third fastest time ever, Tiana Bartoletta to gold in the long jump at the World and Olympic Games, among others. So it is hard to deny we could possibly see an even more dangerous version of Taylor for the coming years. At the end of the day these are two great athletes who have enough potential to bring sprinting to another level, and that is the most important part about these young men rise in the world of athletics.